Welcome, Leos. What's good? I'm the Empress. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. So let's take a look into you guys' this mid-month, okay? Mid-month for the month of January. All right, so let's get into some things. What overall message is there for Leos? Oh, y'all got a lot going on. Like a million cards flipped over. Okay, let's let's try this again. Okay. Keep in mind, guys, that these readings are general. They won't resonate with every single Leo. And if you guys keep seeing me, like, Clint, I, I really have a toothache. And I'm trying to push through. But these readings are general. They won't resonate with every single Leo. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, don't try to make it resonate. Okay? Check your moon and your rising and see if your messages are there. Okay? Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. Okay? Click the notification button. All right? So, let's get one more card for Leo. Please, God, give me a clear message for Leo, please. I need one more card for Leo. Ooh. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, which is going to be the overall message, I feel like you guys are definitely waiting on somebody to make some type of decision. You're waiting to make a decision or you're waiting for someone to make a decision, okay? We got sacrifice, which is the hangman. You may feel like you've been sacrificing a lot, okay? You may feel like you've been put on hold. We got the waiting game, which is also, you can look at this and see the hourglass with the stuff coming down. That's like, oh, time is running short. The time is running out, all right? And then another waiting, indecisive card, okay? This is about movement, choices, and decisions. So you're waiting to make some type of decision. You're waiting to make some type of decision or you're waiting for someone to make a decision, okay? The first card we have is the, th the third eye chakra, okay? So this is I see, okay? So you see something clearly, okay? Passion ignited. Okay, so you can see the passion there. You know the past, the passion is there, okay? Yeah, spiritual union, okay? So you know that, you feel like, I know that I'm, I'm the best thing smoking right now. So somebody has you on hold or you're, you're having someone, you got someone on hold because you know that they the best, you the best thing that they got. You're the best decision, the best option. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at, um, let's see what action that they're going to take towards you, okay? What action are they going to take towards Leo, please? What action are they going to take towards Leo? What action are they going to take towards Leo? I don't know why I'm hearing, like, I'm the best thing you got. <laughs> Who you going to find better than me? It's, it's just, that's, that's just the type of energy that I'm getting. Okay, let me see. Um, what action are they going to take towards Leo's? We got release your ex, okay? So they could be letting go of a lover, okay? So they could be in the, in the process of mourning over an ex, okay? So they're trying to let go of an ex, okay? They've been trying to disconnect and they possibly, you know, have considered about considered going back to their ex, but then I think they took took some time out and thought about it and I feel like they are trying to clear their energy, okay? They're trying to get rid of an ex. So we have this could be the one and staying optimistic. I thought this was three cards. Let me get one more card. So it looks like they could feel they could see themselves with you, okay? And they're staying optimistic, okay? We got forgiving and learning, okay? So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there's something that I feel like they're still holding on to something from the past that they are trying to let go of. Yeah, see, honeymoon, this is the moving on card. This is distance. They're trying to move on from someone from their past, okay? They're trying to move on from someone from their past. Um, because they feel like, you know, you could be the one for them. 
And they're still optimistic, okay? They're keeping their thoughts positive that, and having faith that things, you know, could be better in the future. But I feel like there is something that they're holding on to from their past. There might be an apology that they need to give someone or they, they're just feeling like they need to release and heal. I feel like they haven't healed completely from their past and maybe they could be having you waiting because they're still trying to wrap things up from their past, okay? All right, so let's look at challenges. Let's get into it. Let's let's look at the challenges. Let's see. From January 15th through the 31st, what is the challenges for Leo? We got seven of Earth, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy, but nonetheless, this is being patient. Someone is most definitely taking, like there's just a patient, a, a, a slow pace moving type of energy here. But I feel like someone is planting seeds, okay? I feel like someone is, you know, trying to plant the seeds here. But it's just a sense. Maybe you feel like they're moving too slow. Okay. Like, you feel like they could be moving too slow. They need to make up their mind. Okay. Give me two more cards for Leo, please. What is the obstacle? What is in the way? Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Eight of Earth, lots of Earth energy here. Okay, but this is most definitely someone here putting in the work, putting in the effort, okay? But someone here could be really flighty. They could be non-committal. They could be, you know, in and out of your life. We got the Nine of Earth, lots of Earth energy. And then we got King of Fire, you guys' is energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You could be dealing with the fire sign like yourself. But with this Nine of Earth, someone here could be, you know, focused really, really, really. I'm getting like a very arrogant, um, a very, a person that is led really a lot by their egos. I feel, I feel like you guys are just being patient. Maybe you feel like you should be single until this person is taking action. I want to get a few clarifiers. Why is the seven of earth here? Why is the seven of earth here? Okay, six of swords. So you could be waiting for them to get over the past, okay? Because, look, they got... Someone has a lot of different options in front of them, okay? Someone has a lot of different offers, different scenarios. They could just be in la-la land. Like, someone is communicating with a lot of different people. We got the Page of Swords. You could be feeling like this person is very immature and they need to make up their mind, okay? So you're waiting for them to get over something. Why is the nine of earth here? Why is the nine of earth here for you? All right. The will, I'm sorry, the judgment card. So this is a final decision, okay? Your intuition may be telling you to... Um, your intuition could be telling you to focus on yourself, okay? Because I feel like you may, in the back of your mind, you may feel like this situation is going to start some conflict. We got the Fool and the Five of Wands. So this is most definitely an argument just coming out of nowhere, a disagreement. I feel like your intuition is telling you that this is going to start like a big war, okay? And there needs to be some type of balance. They need to find some type of way to figure this out, okay? Let's see why the King of Fire is here. Why is King of Fire here? Why is King of Fire here? We got the justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra. 
But that's definitely trying to find a balance. King of Wands again. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so someone here is focused on an opportunity. Why is Justice card here? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. This could be a karmic situation. This could be a karmic relationship, okay? Someone is possibly afraid to move forward. Someone is really, someone is feeling stuck, okay? Someone may actually be afraid to move forward, okay? And I feel like I'm getting a sense of this could be like a karmic situation. Why is the Six of Swords here? Mm-hmm. I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting on them to make this decision, okay? Mm-hmm. Because something here has been so this could this situation may be a secret. It's supposed to be a secret, but the truth is getting ready to come out, or the truth has already came out. We got the moon, which is the card of Pisces, the ace of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is definitely something that was kept in the dark has been brought to the light. Okay. So I feel like you're waiting for them to get over something and make a decision. Yep, you want them to make a decision. Nine of Cups. You want to know if there's going to be any movement forward because you can clearly see that this person is stuck. What message is there for Leos? We got Ace of Wands. So you could be starting, okay, I'm getting, there could be a pregnancy here as well too, but you could be starting, wanting to start a new chapter and close, close the chapter and start fresh. I feel like you've been watching this person or this person's been watching you, but there's been some spying going on. Okay. So, you feel like the situation is on hold, okay? You got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Somebody here is a player, okay? Somebody here is a player. Why, what is the future energy? Okay, we got the Chariot card, all right? So, it looks like there's some movement forward, or this is travel. And then we got the Devil card, which is Capricorn's energy. Okay, someone is going to be putting in some effort. We got the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone is definitely trying is going to be trying to put in some effort. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? Woo. Seven of Swords. So someone. <laughs> <laughs> someone isn't being honest. Someone is a liar, a cheat, being sneaky. So maybe you've been watching them to see if they've been telling the truth. Why well, is the Empress here? Okay, Four of Swords. Someone could be thinking that someone is pregnant. We got the King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Devil. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, Ace of Wands. King of Wands, okay, so there's sexual energy. So this person fulfills you a lot sexually. So sexually, you're not even, possibly not even stressing that. <laughs> they probably put things down in the bedroom, okay? But I feel like, why is the world here? temperance and then we got the queen of cups and again the knight of wands so somebody's doing a lot of playing okay playing with someone's emotions but there's a story 
maybe someone somebody's trying to figure out if someone is pregnant and someone told a lie so is this some type of rumor why is the hangman here waiting on someone to say something okay waiting for someone to call or waiting for someone to reach out about this decision okay like this person you want this person to make up their mind clarify chariot why is chariot here emperor okay so you could be demanding that things move forward okay you could be like you know what look <laughs> where are we doing where are we at i feel like there's a secret you you could be feeling like the secret is out it's not a secret anymore the secret is out where are we headed where are we headed you could be dealing with an aries why is the emperor here Three of Cups. Okay. Then we got this devil again. Capricorn's energy and the Tower and the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Lots of Capricorn energy, most definitely Earth sign. But there's this, the truth all of a sudden comes out or someone brings something out. It could be like a picture or some type of information comes to the light. And somebody's waiting on somebody to get mad. Somebody's waiting on somebody to get mad. Because I feel like you want things to move forward. I'm getting a... a why was there a cup here? Nine of cups and the knight of swords. You want things to pick up. You want this person to pick up the pace. Like, what is taking so long? What is taking so long to make this decision? If you say that you're over it, if you say that you're done, what is the problem? This person could make you feel like you got to keep your guard up, okay? This person is making you feel like you got to keep your guard up. Mm -mm. Try to make sure that you're not the one looking crazy. All right, Leos, I hope these messages were helpful. If they were, good, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your family and your friends, okay? Until next time, ciao for now.